Here we are again about the king of all hormones, testosterone. Now I've done lots of videos about how to increase testosterone, but not that many about what causes a drop in testosterone. And that's what I'll be revealing in today's video. The top five surprising causes of low testosterone and how you can quickly and naturally help fix and reverse this health problem. The first one is something that most people never even think about, especially your doctor. The second one is probably the biggest underlying cause. The third is something that many guys are making things worse and accelerating the problem themselves, so it's their fault. The fourth is one of the newest discoveries and something that almost all of us are dealing with, especially as we got older. And the fifth one is something that I personally struggle with and have been dealing with most of my life. And it's one that most people give little priority to and keep screwing up every single day. So now the first one is drugs. And there are many, many drugs, prescription, as well as over-the-counter and street drugs that can cause a decrease in testosterone in addition to erectile problems. Now I've done videos about this topic in the past and I put direct links to those videos below in the description area. But Here's a brief list. First of all, we have drugs for the prostate or hair loss. You know, one of the more popular ones is stuff like finasteride or dudasteride, also known as Propecia or Proscar or Avidart. We also have antibiotics, cancer and chemotherapy drugs, drugs for controlling high blood pressure and hypertension, uh, drugs for high blood sugar and diabetic drugs, cholesterol lowering drugs, drugs prescribed for anxiety or depression, basically any kind of what I call downer. This includes opiates as well as painkillers also. Then we have sleeping drugs, and this includes over-the-counter medications. Alcohol is a drug, and it's also problematic. Beer being one of the worst because it's very estrogenic. And yes, marijuana, again, is also a drug, and that does lower testosterone, and it increases female hormones and causes neurotransmitter imbalances, which also indirectly controls testosterone. Sadly, there are many drugs that cause hormonal imbalances the lowering of testosterone, and will also indirectly cause erectile problems as well. Again, most doctors will minimize this and say, oh, it's no big deal, this and that, but sometimes these problems happen quickly or sometimes it happens over time. And next thing you know, a few weeks or months later, things aren't working as well. It's the drugs and you never even think about it. So keep this in mind. This leads us to the next major cause and that's hormonal imbalances. One problem is that your body isn't producing as much testosterone as it used to, primarily from the testicles, as well as a little bit from your adrenal glands. So that's one problem, that your body just isn't producing enough hormones. But there is a second major problem, and a bigger one, and that's hormonal imbalances. This is when your body is producing enough testosterone. Things are working. Unfortunately, though, the testosterone is being converted to what I call anti-testosterone hormones, such as female hormones like estrogen and prolactin. Then there's also an increase in stress hormones, such as cortisol, which also lowers testosterone when it's chronically elevated. Now, these hormonal imbalances also can cause thyroid problems, and the thyroid is indirectly part of the entire hormonal cascade and thus required for healthy levels of total and free testosterone. And let's not forget that testosterone also can gets converted to DHT, dihydrotestosterone. Things like lifestyle, food, and stress, and of course, genetics plays a major role in DHT production, which DHT is linked to balding and hair loss, excess body hair, and yes, prostate problems. These hormonal balances not only lower testosterone levels, but they also accelerate aging, they cause muscle loss, they increase fat gain, especially belly fat, they can cause negative mood, they lower your just drive, they can cause erectile problems, and so on and so forth. This, you know, the hormonal imbalance is probably one of the biggest problems and causes. Another major cause is just aging. Now, remember these hormonal bounces that I just mentioned? Well, they're typically, you know, in the older days, were dealt with older men past the age of 40 or 50 or maybe 60. And medically, this is called andropause, similar to women called menopause. But due to modern times, you know, the unnatural lifestyles of always being indoors and the computers and all that, having too much stress and so forth, the body is aging faster. And the problems and hormonal imbalances are now starting even younger in guys in their 20s and 30s. This is really bad news. 
And if you're listening to this, you must take action now and help improve and fix these problems because it's only going to get worse as you get older. Listen, you can't stop aging, but you don't have to speed it up either, okay? You really can help slow it down, and this is done by improving your youthful hormones. The next major problem is inflammation. I'm sure you've heard about all the major health problems related to inflammation. Well, testosterone, erectile, and prostate problems are all related to inflammation. Now, remember how earlier I listed all those drugs with, you know, in today's video that were problematic? Well, almost all of them cause inflammation. Hormonal imbalances, remember another problem? That also causes inflammation. And as you age, your body gets more inflamed. In fact, there's a term called inflammaging. Testosterone gets lowered as inflammation goes higher and gets increased. In fact, testosterone itself has anti-inflammatory properties, which is a very good thing. Sleep is a major controlling factor in your testosterone levels. In fact, most of all your hormones. Just one or two nights of poor sleep can easily cause at least a 50% reduction in testosterone levels while almost doubling stress hormones such as cortisol in addition to increasing you know, blood sugar and insulin levels and a host of other hormonal imbalances. We all know how important sleep is, and yet most of us screw it up. The thing is, you must make sleep a priority. You have to keep a regular and fairly strict sleep hygiene schedule. And yes, I know this can be difficult, especially in modern times and our busy schedules and you know all the modern tools we have with the internet. I personally struggled, struggled with poor sleep my entire life, and it seems to be getting worse as I've gotten older. So I really do have to put in a lot more extra effort because it's so important. And yes, I've even tried in the past various sleep drugs, but again, they all had problems, not to mention the lower testosterone, you know, the lack of energy and drive and the brain fog the next day. It was totally not worth it. I now stick to just natural herbs, vitamins, and minerals, and so forth. And I've listed videos below about simple shortcuts you can use to dramatically improve both your sleep quality and duration. So the end result over time is fewer hours of sleeping, but better rest and recuperation. And yes, more youthful hormonal balance, including testosterone levels. I know many of you want to improve your testosterone levels and have better hormones. What you do not do is just as important as what you do, okay? I mean, again, you can exercise and take supplements to help increase testosterone, but then you screw it up by taking drugs and substances that lower testosterone or live an unhealthy lifestyle causing hormonal imbalances and accelerated aging and inflammation, and then you don't prioritize sleep, all right? This undoes all that testosterone boosting that you tried to do. Utilize this information and make improvements now because things are only going to get worse as you and I get older and you have more stress and responsibilities in your life. Please post your comments. Let me know what you learned today, what you liked, what questions you have about today's video, and then what topics you also want me to cover in future videos. 